In some ways, healthcare is not like other businesses. If you've been in an accident and you show up at the emergency room, you'll get help even if you can't pay. But hospitals are also learning that, in some respects, they need to run their enterprises more like businesses to control costs. One way they're doing this is by focusing on managing their supply of hospital beds, matching the demand for beds with the supply. To manage patient flow more effectively, healthcare workers are huddling first thing in the morning to estimate which patients will be discharged that day. The idea isn't to hurry people out, it's to take stock of where people are in the course of their treatment as a way to manage patient flow. Huddles are fine, but wouldn't it be better if healthcare workers could spend more of their time caring for people instead of discussing operational issues like bed availability? I thought so, and so did some of my colleagues at Johns Hopkins. We explored whether a predictive model could do as good of a job as those morning huddles. Our starting point was the patient data at 7 a.m., the typical time for a huddle. The goal was to see which pieces of data separated the patients who were going to leave from those who were going to stay. Was the patient in observation status or formally admitted? How long had the patient been in the hospital? The longer the stay, all things being equal, the shorter the path to discharge. Did the patient suffer from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or heart failure? We also plugged in patients' ages, sex, race, and the day of the week. To our surprise, we found that we could create a model that estimated whether patients would be discharged roughly as accurately as the healthcare workers, and in some cases, more accurately, using fewer than 30 variables. This was true even though the healthcare workers in our study had access to much more information than our predictive models, such as patients' vital signs and recent medical orders. We experimented with trying to incorporate this information, but we decided the marginal improvement wasn't worth the additional complexity. The simplicity of the model means it's something that many hospitals could adopt. We've shown that a computer model can do a decent job of predicting when patients are likely to go home. What's next? We'll test the model in more settings and try to improve its accuracy. It's possible that the healthcare workers will end up incorporating the model to their morning huddles rather than eliminating huddles altogether. But that's okay too. The key finding of our study is that the kind of predictive tool that businesses use routinely can also make hospitals run more efficiently.